and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week, while the temperatures are still soaring here in Toronto, we are showing you this recipe for a simple and delicious cool gazpacho soup. Now, gazpacho is a vegetable soup with a tomato base that is typically served cold. And ours is actually going to be a little bit spicy, but we'll uh, show you why in a little while. Uh, let's get started with some ingredients. So we have some tomato juice, some Worcester sauce. Now you want to leave that out if you want it to be vegan. Uh, Tabasco sauce. We have some cilantro. Uh, some red onion. Now these are some garlic chives that we froze from our garden. Uh, there's some celery. We're going to add some tomato as well. Some cucumber. Some lemon juice. And that is a habanero pepper. And that's why it's going to be spicy. So we're just going to start by getting everything into the uh, container that we're going to make the soup in. So this is our uh, garlic chives. Typically in gazpacho there are some chives and there is some garlic. We have garlic chives. So we're going to use that because it uh, we had them on hand. And uh, they're actually very tasty and give you that really great garlic aroma as well. And uh, we're not going to use a whole lot of the red onion. We're just going to use a nice slice like that. And uh, we do want everything pretty small. So we're going to be cutting this into uh, pretty small pieces. Everything's going to be diced pretty finely. So it helps if you have an extremely sharp knife. So here's Chef Caleb getting everything ready here. And he's just going to give that a very fine little chop. And there we go. And that's going to go into the bowl as well. Following that, we've got our uh, celery. Again, we're just going to make sure that this is in uh, pretty small pieces of really fine dice. So we're just going to cut it along the rib. That's the easiest way. until it's in pretty small strips and then we're just going to cut the strips uh, again a really sharp knife helps with this it makes it go a lot faster and does uh, help keep from uh, cutting yourself as well there you go there is the uh, celery. Now you do want to make sure, because this is not cooked, you do want to make sure all of your surfaces are very clean. This is the cucumber, obviously. So, uh, best way f uh, to serve this one up, we're going to just cut it into strips. And then from there, we're just going to cut that into a uh, nice, thin, basically shoestring. And then we're going to dice it like all of our uh, all of our other veggies as well. Hopefully, it's not so hot that the condensation makes the cucumber stick to your knife. And there we go. We got all of our cucumber in there. And then we are actually going to use this entire pepper. So uh, your sous chef Caleb is going to slice one side off uh, just to give him access to the seeds so we can cut out the seeds. We're going to leave those out. So we're going to set that aside. Uh, that's uh, headed for the compost bin. And uh, for the pepper, we're just going to, as with all the other ones, we're going to cut it into these nice fine little strips. Now this can be even smaller than the rest of the uh, ingredients. Uh, and it's going to make a nice uh, heat all the way through. Now remember, uh, the longer this sits in your fridge, or the longer you uh, let this um, rest, the spicier it's going to become. Uh, this one turned out to be very spicy. It was, it was very delicious, but uh, um, do be cautious. If you're not a fan of spicy things, you can leave this out or use very little of it. And 
and please do make sure that uh, you wash your hands pretty thoroughly before you touch your eyes after handling a hot pepper like this. So there we go. There's our hot pepper, uh, the cucumber. Now we're going to cut our tomatoes. We're just going to give a little score along the bottom of the tomato because we want to peel them. We don't want bits of uh, tomato skin in our soup. So we're going to pop them into boiling water very, very briefly. Now this is called uh, concasse, and uh, it's a French technique for loosening the skin on the tomatoes uh, so that it's much easier to peel. So Chef Caleb is going to leave that in the water for a little while. You're going to start to see the skin peeling back at the cuts a little tiny bit. And uh, as that happens, that means the skin is loosening up from the, uh, from the flesh of the tomato. Immediately you want to get it into some icy water. And Chef Caleb is just going to toss the second one in the hot, hot water while we're doing this. And then you want to shock it really quickly. Uh, make sure you get the temperature to come down really fast. And that just uh, makes it super easy to peel. So you want to touch it. It should be uh, pretty cool to the touch. It shouldn't be still hot. And you can see here, that skin is just going to uh, slough right off. Very, very simple. Now you do want to uh, get a strainer. And you're going to try and collect all of the seeds um, out of the tomatoes because we want to get as much juice as we possibly can out of them. Now these weren't particularly juicy tomatoes. They were quite um, fleshy. They were very meaty tomatoes and they were delicious, but they didn't give us a whole lot of juice. So uh, we, we do want to give them a cut much like the rest of our veggies. We're going to uh, just give them a slice once you've removed all the seeds. And uh, We're going to remove all the stems and uh, any root bits as well. So, uh, like everything else, we're just going to give everything a good little cut in one direction, line them all up, and then give them a quick dice in the other direction. You can see Chef Caleb has actually moved to a different cutting board. Uh, we didn't want to get everything uh, spicy from the uh, oil from the habanero <laughs> that we used on the other board. And there we go. All of our tomato bits are going to go into the soup here. Now you may be thinking, it doesn't look a whole lot like soup yet. Well, that's coming, don't worry. Uh, so with the strainer and all of the seeds, just give it a little massage with your hands until um, it starts to feel a little bit drier. You want to get as much liquid as you can out of those seeds uh, and the skins as well. Uh, the more liquid you can get out, the less tomato juice you're going to have to add separately from uh, from what you've actually added here. So you see Chef Caleb here just giving it a massage to get all of the as much juice as we possibly can. You see we did get some, but they weren't uh, they weren't particularly juicy. We are going to add some lemon juice as well. So the juice of half a lemon gives it this nice uh, tart acidic bite as well. And uh, we're just going to strain and make sure we're going to keep all the seeds out there. And the lemon uh, will also sort of bring some of the other flavors together as well. So uh, as much lemon juice as you can get out of half a lemon, uh, you want to give it a little massage before you, uh, before you cut it and squeeze it. You do want to make sure you strain it. You don't want a whole lot of pulp. Uh, you don't want seeds. We're not using the uh, skin for this. It's just going to be the juice, as much juice as we can get out of this one. So we can give that uh, a little tap. We're going to get all that juice out of there. And then we're going to add some tomato juice to make up the difference. Now, um, again, depending on how much juice you get out of your tomatoes, you're going to want to add more or less tomato juice. We're just adding one cup of the tomato juice to make sure that we have a good base for our soup here. And uh, you can probably hear a festival going on in my background right now. I apologize for that. A little dash of Tabasco sauce and a little dash of Worcester sauce as well. 
Now you do want to, uh, again, leave out the Worcester sauce if you want this to remain vegan because Worcester sauce does contain uh, anchovies. We're also going to add a pretty significant amount of salt. Uh, we just want to make sure that everything is uh, well seasoned in there and comes together nicely. And then uh, a little bit of black pepper as well. Okay, and from there we're just going to stir that up. You want to make sure everything's well combined in your uh, in your soup. Now's a good time to scrape down the sides of your container. Make sure that everything is blended and well mixed in there. Now we are going to uh, make this a little juicier as well. Uh, we're going to take some of this and put it in a smaller container. And uh, we're going to take about a third of it. And we're going to grab our stick blender. So here's a nice little shot of what we've got in there. We're going to grab our stick blender and just completely blend this down. We're going to uh, make it uh, a good liquid base for our soup. Uh, now, some people uh, like a much smoother gazpacho. If you want, you can actually stick blend the whole thing and make it uh, a pretty uniform uh, liquid texture all the way through. Some people like it thicker. We like it pretty chunky. So we're only taking a third of it, and we're just going to... Um, Blend it together. And there you go. And then we're just going to add that back into our soup. And, uh, and give it another little stir. And that's really it. I mean, that's the whole, uh, that's the whole technique for this. We like to leave it overnight uh, to let sort of the flavors come together. And, uh, Now's a good time to taste it. You can adjust the seasoning at this point to see if there's anything that you've missed, anything you want to add, uh, a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and that's it. Uh, serve cold. It's uh, really delicious, very refreshing on a hot, hot day. Um, goes very well with uh, grilled food as well. Uh, you can almost think of it like a liquid salad. It's vegetable heavy. It's really, really excellent, delicious. You can customize those flavors however you like. Uh, great classic recipe. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.